um, it's just rich how the uh, the coverage of this is uh, of this quarterback competition is going down. Where um, Brock can Brock, I'm so glad that Brock is healthy because without Brock's arm strength and his talent being back and him mentally being ready to play football, um, we're we pretty much those eight games don't matter. But I just noticed, you know, Brock overthrows two people and. Um, I believe that your 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 response was, I'm just happy that the arm strength is there, right? That just shows that, you know, the arm strength is there and that's what I wanted to see, that he's healthy, right? And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he overthrew them. And there was even a couple of a couple of people who agreed with you. And I think you even went on to say, I, I would I wouldn't even I wouldn't even put it past the Niners to tell him to go ahead and just overthrow it. You know, well, because you know the story would have been if he had, right? If he had underthrown but, it, it would have been like, oh, see, he doesn't have the fine. arm. And so they're fine. trying to, they're trying to and, be. I think I actually bet a guy on the sideline. I go, I bet you anything, he will take multiple shots down the field, and that he will overthrow those receivers. All right, because well, he's trying to, to show I'm uh -huh. back, well, the I'm arm's to, back. All right, I'm about to get that ass though. So <laughs> we, but we see reports on Trey Lance where we talk about Trey missing reads and going for 30 yards down the field running. And not one person mentioned that, man, this is the first time we've actually get a chance to see Trey Lance get out and run in the open field after he broke his ankle and had two surgeries on his ankle. Not one person, not one person mention that and for some reason we we're, we're looking at trey as if he's just um david lombardi said in the airport the other day the niners don't owe this kid anything um it's disgusting it's disgusting um okay. I, I feel like we gotta call it straight um and you know for what it is, Brock is the number one starter. He deserves to be the number one starter because of what this locker room believes in him and what the coaching staff believes in him. But what I don't want to see is this sterile, ticky-tack, meticulous, petty criticism and evaluation of everything that Trey Lance does under his four reps during practice a little context that's all i'm saying just a little context i'm not telling you to tell me that trey lance looks like a god if he overthrows somebody he overthrows somebody right if his if his body language looks horrible it looks horrible it looks bad you can't do that in a pro setting but all i'm asking is is that turn the microscope on all of these players not just trey all right and the way that we're talking about these players is not aligned across the board so that, that's all that that's my ted talk well i hear you I they're, they're in the different wanted, but they're in different TED stages well let's go back to your points okay first of all on the on the brock day one the question is not about can he process or can he be accurate at least i think most people's questions they, the question was coming off the elbow surgery has he is his arm diminished because i mean you're we're talking about major elbow surgery so that's what i was looking for and people were like the, well the he looked terrible wasn't major the ankle wasn't major that wasn't no, no, a major but, surgery but he was cleared from the ankle well earlier in the off season so as far as the ankle like the ankle has not even been trey has not been asked at all about brock the ankle cleared, brock is cleared with no restrictions right all right, just I, I'm just saw, just as long as we're on the same page. No, but I'm the just saying this was heard, the no first practice. No, okay. but the first practice for for Trey uh, or for Brock, people want to see the arm strength, so they want to see. Nobody wants to see Trey run. Well, it's not that nobody wants to see Trey run. Nobody but... cares, Larry. Let's put it out there. Nobody, nobody cares. No, but it, nobody whatever... cares, Larry. Larry, let's just, Larry, let's be real about this. Nobody cares. <laughs> they don't care that he broke his ankle, Larry. Come on, Larry. Let's just put oh, it out there. Well, who who Nobody who who cares. doesn't care? Content creators. Dave Lombardi said that 
the Niners don't owe this kid nothing. Nobody cares that he broke his ankle. As far as they're concerned, Trey should be ready to go. Yeah. And 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 it's and, and I feel by and I feel it in the reporting. Well, I feel okay. it. I feel it. L- l- let me just say this: there we fake the funk. I can't do it. The I day do it. day one of of uh, of of Brock Grant came out and said he looked terrible. I said he looked great. So it was like, okay, well, wait a second. People are saying, well, Krug, Grant's saying he looked terrible, and you're saying he looked great. Well, Grant's talking about the he's you know the completion percentage. You can't complete 30% of your passes in the NFL and be great. That's what he's looking at. What I'm looking at is what my question was. I know Brock can complete passes. I don't I don't know if he if he loses arm strength if he's the same quarterback. In fact, I would say if he lost any kind of significant arm strength loss at all or if he really has to gear up to throw, he's not the same guy. So I need to put my own eyes on it and say, what did it look like? And to me, what was clear after watching that practice is the pass to Ayuk was a laser. The pass down the field to Debo was an absolute bomb. Now, he's trying to overthrow those guys to er eradicate the whole narrative of, is the arm strong enough? So I, I wasn't expecting those passes to be completed. In fact, I thought for sure he would overthrow a couple deep balls just to kind of send the message, hey, I got plenty of arm strength. So I saw what I needed to see as far as is he healthy. I'm right. not, I wasn't even evaluating. It's day one of camp. There's no pads. I'm not even evaluating, you know, is he efficient or is he game ready? You don't need to be game ready on July 27th. Right. But you do need to show that arm strength. Because if you lose arm strength and you're Brock Purdy and you only had mediocre arm strength to begin with, you might not be the same guy. I'll, I'll say this. If Brock had come out and gone 10 for 10, but his ball wobbled, that's a far worse situation than – or any la- lacked arm strength or he had to really gear up to throw. That's a far worse situation than going 3 for 10 and showing the arm strength. So I looked at it as huge success. But that's just day one. If you I agree if you stay you, completing thirty percent, now I you're that's not good. Larry, Larry, but he's picked I it up since then. But let's let me address your other point. Trey, Trey was cleared from the ankle earlier in the off season. He's not talking about it. They're not talking about it. Nobody's referencing his ankle. So I think you're right. No, I mean we. I think we all know that he had ankle surgery, and people have pointed that out. But it's a non-factor to Trey or the team, and it doesn't appear to be limiting his gait or his speed. I mean, it, we need to take into account he had a major surgery, but that he came back from that surgery well before OTAs. So that question got answered in May, and now we're in July. So nobody's going to keep bringing up that ankle unless he was, you know, we see him icing it, he's getting treatment, or we're hearing that he it's bothering him or he's missing time due to the ankle. So that's why the ankle's a non-factor. I don't think anybody's like out to get Trey. Um, I don't. Now there are people though, as far as Lombardi's comment, I think what Dave's talking about there is that last year everything was geared towards Trey. Coach, what is perfectly clear three get three practices in this year? It ain't this year. It's not geared towards Trey. Trey's, you know, are they trying to put Trey in positions to succeed? They're trying to put Brock in positions to succeed, and the other guys will. They have to get in where they fit in. You know what I mean? And that counts for Allen, Darnold, and Trey. So, like the rep count for these other three quarterbacks has been inconsistent. And oddly, you know, I mean, I they and and we asked Trey after practice, hey, what have you been? What have you been told? I've been told nothing. And then they asked Darnold yesterday, hey, what do you what do you think of this rotation? When, when he do you, he's like, well, we talk about it a little bit before we go out, but other than that, I'm just out there playing. So I get the sense that Brock has been told he's getting first team reps. Everybody else has just been pointed to the direction of the field. There it is. There's the field. And very little accommodations are being made for any other quarterback except for Brock. 